everybody. It's Aaron Clark. Welcome to my humble abode. And uh, you're just in time for me to get uh, my last meal in before we crush the legs this afternoon. So, welcome. Come on in. So, when I buy beef, um, you know, I normally try to get some organic grass fed if I can. I won't say that I always do, but um, if it's available, I try to make that happen. Um, so, what I'm going to do now is I'll have 8 ounces of this beef. It's 1 pound, so that's easy. I'll just cook the pound and uh, have 8 ounces now. I'll have the other 8 ounces tomorrow for my red meat meal. And um, I'll have that with some, for right now, since I'm going to do legs, about a cup and a half of jasmine rice. And then, to top it off, I'll probably do, I either will have spinach if I have that cooked, or I'll do a scoop of a superfood greens type of product um, you know whether or not I have veggies in and how that goes so this is a good substitute if you're lazy like me so in the cooking so I feel like let's say you eat chicken breast for all your meals I think you can get away with that but if you're eating all egg white meals I think you need to also eat a heavier protein which you, red meat is going to be your heaviest one, pretty much. Um, so I feel like it's also good for the fullness, and there's things in the red meat that you're not going to get from everything else. So especially if you do things like a lot of egg whites, I think that um, eating good red meat, not like crappy, cheap, I mean, you know, there's a lot of bad things in red meat. So in moderation, you know, you don't want to do too much red meat, but um, I try not to do more than once a day. Maybe... I won't say I never do, but once a day is good for me. Now this, I keep this in. Now when you train hard, a lot of people are afraid to have sodium, okay? Now I'm not saying this is a great source, but don't be scared to eat salt. I eat pretty high sodium. Um, if you train hard and you train heavy and you sweat, you need salt. You know, I see a lot of people and they think that if they eat salt, you know, they'll hold water and your body should be used to eating. If you're an athlete, your body should be used to eating, you know, at least a decently high sodium. Unless you have blood pressure problems, then you should monitor it. But it will help you train. It'll make you stronger. So just keep that in mind. It's nothing to be afraid of. I also sometimes instead of beef, um, I do bison. Bison is also very good. Okay. Off season, um, you know, I'll still do a lot of these same meals. I'll just probably add more carbs to it. I'll eat extra carbs, um, and no real restricting calories. Uh, for somebody who has stomach problems, if you're a bodybuilder and you're off season and you're lean, you just eat. Um, you know, I stay on my diet, but if I want to have a little extra or this that, I'll do it. Um, but yeah, same foods. You know, when you train hard year round, you try to still. I think it should be a lifestyle. It shouldn't just be a 12 week diet. Uh, so I do this all year when I turn up the heat free contest. Um, then the changes don't have to be so crazy. Um, I always make sure that I'm not putting on bad weight, extra weight that I'm going to have to deal with later on because that's dumb. Um, people wonder how you get your skin thin will never get it fit uh, because fat cells don't go away anywhere near as easy as you gain them and once you gain fat cells you're gonna make your skin look thick for pretty much ever it'll take you a long time to get rid of a fat cell This is my lovely lady, Christina, and uh, she's a certified massage therapist, so she helps me, so I'm not wheelchair bound. 
at 25 years old. Okay. So, keeps me going, helps me in the kitchen, helps me with everything, really, because I'm a mess. <laughs> Everything's good. It's like I said, uh, 2011, that's me in Maryland, East Coast. That was my first show I did after being a teenager. So I'm uh, 22 there. And, um, you know, it was, I, to be honest with you, I, I kind of knew what I was doing, but I really had no idea what I was doing at the same time. Um, but it was more or less trial and error, like, let's see if I can do this. And uh, I did. I won. So uh, with that under my belt, it kind of gave me the motivation to... I wanted to do junior nationals the next year, um, but being in the situation I was in, I was going to school, I didn't have a lot of expendable income, and so, uh, yeah, I ended up, you know, because people told me, oh, you want a pro card, you got to do junior nationals, you got to build up your name and momentum, and then you got to go do USAs or nationals, and so, you know, at the end of the day, I looked and I was like, man, I don't have the funds to do both. So I decided, well, if they're going to look at me, they're going to look at me, the USAs. So I'm going to compete the USAs, and uh, yeah, I won my pro card there. Um, and then the, the following picture is me, 2013, my first pro show. Afterwards, I shot with Musco Development, and uh, that's a sh I with Per Bernal while he was still with them. Um, this is my girlfriend's trophy. She competed um, This is this year. Nice muscle, bikini class. So yeah, that's my most recent trophy, plaque. Over here we have, this is USA's, this is uh, Maryland. It's funny how the most trophies are at the, the regional show that I did. They're the biggest ones. And this is the Arnold Classic, uh, my third place medal in the 212 division. And then this, smaller man here. This is a show I did to qualify before I did Teenage Nationals in 2008. I did the Southern States in Florida and uh, I actually got second in the light heavyweight class and I got second to the same kid that beat me the next week at Teen Nationals and uh, it was about my tan. I didn't have a tan. I messed up. I didn't plan ahead and my poor father didn't know how to do it and was grossed out and basically I went up there looking like people told me Casper is what they did. They're like Casper, and it was, you know, it was eating me up inside. But I laughed. Um, <laughs> the last one was uh, the the Teenage Nationals trophy uh, for second place in light heavyweight. And um, let's see what else. <clears throat> So since he's training legs today, I wouldn't work on his legs before he trains them. Um, just because he's going to overstimulate the muscle and I don't want to relax it before he does that. So first thing I do is I warm up the muscle, although it doesn't take very long for him. He's always warm. Um, he's had a ton of injuries. So I know where to be careful, um, but his back is usually the major problem. Uh, he used to get, let's see, he, you have degenerative disc disorder. So a lot of the intervertebral discs in here get very tight and compressed. And he used to have a lot of shooting pain uh, here in the sacral area. So I just try and loosen up his back as much as I can. I do maybe like a medium deep tissue at this point on him. Um, he also has had shoulder issues, pec tear. He's had, what was it? Um, his TFL has had problems before, which is uh, basically a hip flexor. So if your hip flexor is tight, everything's tight. Usually I find that a lot of bodybuilders have um, a ton of trigger points, mainly in like the scapular area, um, and that's usually due to excessive caffeine. Uh, I just did a quick one. I'm gonna chug some water and take a pre-workout and get ready to do this. What's up, guys? This is my personal beast that keeps 
me safe. So don't come and try to break into my house because he will <laughs> rip your leg off. <laughs> he keeps me strong sometimes we arm wrestle for treats. Um, you know, and it's good that he's strong because I'm on a diet, so he wins most of the treats. But uh, he's pretty smart. Uh, Christina taught him a lot of tricks. So, uh, yeah, treats are a good motivator. Did you say his name yet? Huxley. This is Huxley. Yeah. Sorry. That's rude. I think I did this yet. I guess. That's just about all I got to show you around here for now. So, it's time to go do the legs. A day you look forward to all week, but you do it at the same time. So, three weeks out. Um, you know, I'm going to pretty much be doing the same thing I normally would. Um, I don't really cut back on weight unless I feel like my knees are going to break. Then I'll just be smart, but try to train the wheels hard to the end. I stopped training them about 10 days out or so. Welcome, we're here at Powerhouse Gym in Woodbridge, Virginia. My name is Kelly, I'm the owner here. Gym has been here for about seven years now. We are absolutely the most hardcore gym in all of Northern Virginia. Getting ready for a great day and a great workout. Aaron Clark is over here, getting ready to get a little bit of video of him on his road to the Olympia. I was one of the uh, original owners of the gym about seven years ago with two partners. Took it over um, by myself about a year and a half ago and really looking to take this gym to a different level, make it a little bit different, a little more hardcore. Um, something definitely for the competitive athlete versus a lot of the big box gyms that are out there. So, we're like I said, we're trying to go a little bit more hardcore. Um, definitely the only gym in the area with platforms, with chalk, with Olympic lifting. We've got some MMA stuff that goes on. Um, just a little, every gym has a lot of the same stuff. What makes this place different is the atmosphere and the attitude of the people that walk through the door. What's up, everybody? Day two, back at Powerhouse in Woodbridge, and today we're gonna do legs. So you saw me sweat yesterday. Today is gonna be a disaster because it's hot as hell in here. And uh, I'm gonna do some giant sets and try to keep the food in my stomach and my eyes on the prize. So let's do it. Stay tuned, pay attention, and don't puke. <laughs> I think it's very important that even if you split up your quad and ham training, you have to warm up your hamstrings before you hit your quads or you develop all kinds of issues. It's not just about working a muscle, but filling with blood and getting it loose before you hit the other. The protagonist and antagonist. To start, we'll do this. Super set with spot machine. And then, um, Yeah, we'll just stick a little even shorter today. Sometimes I'll go up to as much as five exercises in a giant set, but we'll just do three stations. Um, since the gym is split into two levels, and we'll do some more when we get downstairs to so the heavy stuff. But I'm going to do about 20 reps here, and then probably 10 reps there, and then come back and try to get another 10 reps on the extension.
few sets to lay here <coughs> to warm up. And then I'll put um, probably four plates on here and do some walking lunges, superset with the squats. Um, you know, I do do straight squat sets, but oftentimes when I get close to a show, I'm kind of scared of my strength a little bit. So I try to force myself to still train just as intense, but scale back. Um, it'll make the weight feel just as heavy. Sometimes you'll do two and you realize that's all you have. I'll be there two twelve by the end of this workout. Jesus Christ. This is so soaked that I can't even <laughs> like uh, I just can't breathe, my skin can't breathe. do a lot of front squats but for some reason they just don't really feel right to me anymore so um, you know I feel like I have really good form with back squats and then I can get a much better contraction with them. I just make, you gotta make sure you sit the bar high up 
so you really use your quads and uh, you know not just ass and lower back. This one. Jesus, where did it come from? on here but because I've been so many super sets I'm just gonna do a few straight sets just to finish off and then we're pretty much done here. on making it through this leg workout. I know how to congratulate myself. It took a lot out of me. Probably a whole damn gallon of water. This is my second shirt that I sweat through. And I wanted another one, but we're done now. So it's kind of time to go refuel, get some carbs and fluids. And uh, yeah, thanks to you all for, you know, following me and uh, you know, I appreciate all the fan base I've been able to build this past year. Um, you know, as my career has taken off so quick, and uh, I just want you all to know that I'm working hard, and uh, you know, I'm going to be the best I can be, and uh, take advantage of these opportunities. So, keep an eye on me, guys. I won't let you down. So, three weeks from now, Two Club Olympia, Aaron Clark, and Mock Video Productions. This is Quads. Dunzo out.